This is Strictly Business, presented by the Greater Bakersfield Chamber of Commerce. Sponsored in part by the Law Offices of Young Woldridge, San Joaquin Community Hospital. Good morning and welcome back to Strictly Business. I'm Nick Ortiz with the Greater Bakersfield Chamber, and I am joined once again by Katie Allen from PG&E and Hillary Haynes, who is our Director of Fun at the uh, Bakersfield Chamber title. of Commerce. I know you do. That's an amazing <laughs> title. I haven't heard you. I'm, I'm calling you that from now on. The, director of Fun radar. in the house. Under the radar. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. She's got her official title and My she's long. got her, her unofficial title. Oh, yes. I like it. She even has business cards in the Director of Fun title. With though. confetti. Yes. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm going to need one of those. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, that's where it's at right there. And we were having a conversation about um, our wardrobe today and your My scarf. scarf. Mm-hmm. And It's very lightweight. It's I know, but I I just think it's, I mean, I don't I know. know. If it was 100 degrees outside, I don't oh, think I you'd be wearing be, a scarf. No. And so I, but I looked out, and like, it's weather discussion. 77 degrees, cloudy, overcast, June gloom. It's raining. Almost. I I, yeah, we don't get June well, gloom in Bakersfield. Yeah. 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 No. <laughs> I was like, what is that? Well, I, it's I, kind of a June gloomy but day. We have, no, you're right. We have yeah. it, which we never have this type yes. of weather. This, I am not complaining. No, no, it's Memorial Day. You know, it's just import the coastal weather. Well, it's been like that recently with all the wind and... yeah. I think we have like a, a rainstorm like either every week or every other week, it. which hopefully is going to be good for us on the on the drought. I was everything. just going to say, yeah. yeah, the El Nino came through. I think in the beginning of the winter, everyone was kind of questioning <laughs> that, but I think we're seeing it now. Yeah, we've gotten a little more out of it. We yeah. have. It was a bust at the beginning, but towards the end, we got a little bit more <laughs> yes. out of it. And that's and that's what Alyssa and the other we- local weathercasters said. Just wait. Yeah. Give it time. Just wait. And she, they were right. Sure Let's enough. see at the end of the year yes. how much we have yeah. in terms of uh, a yeah. rain. It's been it's been good. Yeah. So we're talking about. Uh, Beautiful Bakersfield, mm-hmm. which yes. is um, our awards program. Um, Hillary, it's your program that you run. Katie's mm-hmm. been serving on our, our beautiful Bakersfield committee that she has been has. planning this event this year. She's been doing a great job. And it's not just the event. It really is that whole process it of is. the nominations and judging and making sure that all of the stuff is there. It's a lot of work. And it starts at the at the very beginning of the year with getting those nominations in yeah. reaching out to the community seeking those nominations for projects that were completed the previous year so going yeah. back you know through newspaper articles remembering all the great things that um, that the community has done whether that be architecture or um, humanitarians giving back or nonprofits mm-hmm. all of the all of the work that um, that makes Bakersfield a better place to live yeah so it starts there and then as Katie knows, the committee uh, meets monthly, mm-hmm. and after seeking all those, we had over well over a hundred nominations this year, which Amazing. was really exciting. Yes, which is yeah. so great. So uh, then the committee is uh, tasked with reaching out to those those who were nominated to see if they accept that award. Mm-hmm. So there there's a there's a lot of work. Katie yes. just did voiceovers for us yesterday, mm-hmm. um, writing now, all those. So I know some of the winners. <laughs> Top secret. <laughs> Top so you, secret. So Katie's taking bribes. Baby. Yeah, exactly. I <laughs> might let know. you know. Yeah, I know. I was so excited reading them. I was like, oh, this person, this one, this this yep. organization won. But it's it's a phenomenal. It's been such. How long has this been around? This I would say twenty sixth year. Twenty sixth year. year. And this yeah. is. I love this event because it really and this overall program mm-hmm. because it really is a phenomenal way to honor and recognize the best in our community. Yep. Like mm-hmm. you said, over a hundred, more than a hundred entries. Mm-hmm. We have so much. So yeah. much to celebrate in this community. We do. And this is just a great event to be able to do that. And and it's just, I'm so so proud and honored to be part of it. pg and sponsoring. And, yeah. mm-hmm. and it's going to be another wonderful event. Yeah, we think so. And I mean, yeah. we even talked about, you know, whether or not we would move it to maybe every other year mm-hmm. because we've been having it consistently um, since the 90s every year. Mm-hmm. And um, we were just blown away, I think, by the, the amount mm-hmm. of nominations this year. And um, the fact that, you know, there were some people who were calling us who were talking about some of the great things that have happened mm-hmm. in the first six months of this year. Right. Oh, wow. And, you know. Um, already getting excited. Already oh, going, yeah. is this eligible? Yeah. No, but yeah. hold it until next year so mm-hmm. we can honor some of the good things that are going on. And I know, I mean, it is kind of, I mean, when you look at overall so we've talked about, just you know, mentioned the drought. We talked mm-hmm. about energy and oil. Mm-hmm. And it is a challenging time in the economy locally. But at the same time, 
that generous spirit of mm-hmm. the community that is Bakersfield is shining through. And I think maybe even more in these challenging economic times. I think that's mm-hmm. an important note. I never really thought of it that way, Nick, but that, especially during mm-hmm. the times we have, especially here in Kern County, that the rest of the state may not be oh, yeah. facing yeah. as much as we are real, really locally here, is, is awards and, and programs like this are so necessary mm-hmm. because it does recognize those. And there is so much ongoing giving spirit in this community that we need to do this yearly. Yeah. I hope you guys do it yearly. Because because it really is, and especially right now, you're right. It is needed, uh-huh. and there is so much to recognize and appreciate and celebrate. Yeah, there re- there really is, and I think um, you know, I mean, we we can be honest, and we can definitely understand that you know we end up on the the top ten list for this or yeah. that, and it's not necessarily we do not have the best external image. And sometimes I think these types of things not only improve our external image, they right. improve how we who live here feel about our community mm-hmm. and the good things that are going on. Most yeah. definitely. It's hard to hear some of those polls that yes. don't you know, speak so favor- favorably or rank favorably Bakersfield. Mm-hmm. So it is difficult. And because I, everyone you meet here loves it yep. here. We are proud of our community. Yep. We have so many amazing people and organizations here yep. to recognize. And so that's why the beautiful Bakersfield um, is just so fantastic well, and every see, year. You've adopted Bakersfield as your yes. hometown. You're not originally nope. from here. Nope. I know Hillary I'm isn't. Either. I've yeah. lived other places. And mm-hmm. you know, it's one of the things where you don't actually appreciate um, what you have until you really mm-hmm. get involved here, really see all the great things that are going on and see what a, what a giving community this is. Um, so, you know, I would, uh, we would promote how to attend. We would, but it's a good problem to have. <laughs> we are at capacity yes. and we have a waiting list, Yes, which is just phenomenal. Yeah, I know. I know. And so, and, and you weren't kidding. And maybe next year we do, uh, decide to do an overflow room. I was like, room. we need an overflow room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it sounds like we do. Can we have a satellite yeah. location where we can? <laughs> but for those who are interested in attending yeah. and, uh, didn't purchase their, their, uh, seating, their tickets early, um, if you can attend, you can watch it yes. streamed live on bakersfield.com. Yes. Our partners so, at the California yes. again are helping TBC us. TBC media. Yeah. To, to promote this and, and stream it. So they're streaming it live. And then also this year after the uh, winners leave the stage, mm-hmm. uh, we usually take them back at the, get photos and everything, but then they're also doing some uh, live interviews right mm-hmm. after. Um, so that'll be another at exciting thing to watch. Mm-hmm. That's wonderful. So there's going to be two streams going yeah. on. Wow. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Exactly. And a great We're, way for them to tell their message mm-hmm. and, and hopefully encourage others to volunteer or learn about new um, opportunities in the community, exactly. too. So there's yeah. a lot of benefits to beautiful Bakersfield. Yeah, there really is. There really is. And our presenting sponsors, Current Schools, they continue to support mm-hmm. us um, and continue to come back every year as the, the presenting sponsor for this. I wish that I could name all the sponsors. It would probably yeah. take me about 20 minutes to get through all of them. <laughs> but it is um, a, I would just say, you know, we're, we're promoting them in, in our materials and you'll see them that mm-hmm. night. One of the cool things I think about being a sponsor for Beautiful Bakersfield mm-hmm. is you get to actually come up on stage mm-hmm. and and talk about why your organization uh, values Beautiful Bakersfield Awards mm-hmm. as sponsoring that particular category and then announce the winner. Right. Um, you get to open the envelope. And we have so much support from our members mm-hmm. for this particular um, event and this particular program. Um, we've just been blown away by, uh, again, especially now, the yeah. sponsor support for this. We've added in new levels. We've got a, a group of great sponsors who are going to um, have valet parking, the hospitality, hospitality we- and mm-hmm. reception. Yeah. And so um, we're very excited about um, some of the new things that are going to happen, both with the uh, the public pub- publicizing this through yes. uh, TBC Media, Bakersfield.com, and um, just what all the sponsors support allowed us to do this year. And we also did a Facebook social media campaign yes. this year, which was new. So yeah. I think that, that drew a lot of attention, too. So, and then we will try for everybody who wants to start nominating or thinking yeah. about, you know, you know, this time uh-huh. in 2016 to get the, uh, the nomination form out later this year so you can begin to, to record those things. But make a list of yes. all the great things you see. Well, it sounds like mm-hmm. they have been. Yeah, I mean, yeah. with more than 100, you know, mm-hmm. that's a great problem to have. Yep. Yes. Definitely. Yeah. All right, well, we're going to take a break. We'll be right back, and we'll uh, give you an update on the Chamber's calendar of upcoming events. Katie, thank you for being with us. Thank you for having me. Of course. This is Strictly Business. We'll be right back.